Enter Luthier. <laughs> so, shall, shall we um, dress the set? Yes, just a set. <laughs> Indeed. The, the cup of tea is very important. Absolutely. And, and the stripy mug features in the other video. <laughs> so it has to be in the Let's, let's just home in on the on the stripy mug. Absolutely, that's really, really important. I used to hammer them in, then I took to pressing them in, and now it is I'm hammering them again. And is there any reason for that? Um, hammering is definitely quicker. Yes. And the um, the pressing is kind of reliable but awkward and I've just got better at it so it um, it was Richard Osborne got me back into uh, back into hammering and, I, I always thought that if you hammered fret wire it sort of would, would damage it but of course the, the, the modern stuff you use is really hard is isn't so, it so much harder that uh, right we will have a scalpel well that's probably all I need at the moment so what's this evil wire made from? Is it sort of a brass compound or something? I don't know. I should, I should do some... Uh, I should do a little research when I talk intelligently about it on your video, but actually... I'm going to get two coils tangled up and... <laughs> it's like a conjurer. <laughs> <laughs> the rings. It's like, um, yeah, <laughs> or a very large swinky. <laughs> right. Ah. And there. And what else would we might we need? Good lord. Mm. Well, the threats actually don't extend to the end of the fingerboard. Of course, they, of course. They, um, they're cut back underneath. Yes. It's um, it's what you would do with a bound fingerboard, but by cutting them back, then I fill the um, fill where the end of the fret tang would be, and um, it means that when you just take a f take the tiny corner off the fingerboard, you've cut the fret back, and there's no um, no metal sticking out in the end of the fingerboard. Ah, right. Which, um, which makes a very smooth for, feel for playing. For, for people who play really fast, that becomes a bit of an issue. Uh, well, I'm not one of those. <laughs> right. Do you want these strings again? No, no, I've got a new set in the, in the case. What, what strings are you using now? I'm using uh, 010 top uh, string. Oh, right, right. So you're, you're uh, Elixir, Phosphor Bronze, yeah. an extra light gauge, whatever they call them, I can't remember now. Yeah, but 010 is the standard. Uh, yes, that, that's standard right, yeah. It should be in properly. Yep, that's good. You know, some people really tie knots. Oh, I never do that. Which is just so awkward if you have to change a string. Absolutely. Yeah, particularly you know playing live. No, it's awful. No, 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 no. Never do that. All I do is as I um, as I wind the string on, I make sure it goes over and under. Yes. At the end of the string. Yeah. So, that, so there's sort of enough pressure on itself to. A useful challenger. <laughs> yes, those those strings have served their their, their term. I think yeah. it's always the third one that goes the, the quickest that loses its um, coating. That's the thinnest wound string. Yes. Yeah, they're always, yeah. They're always the ones that... Uh... It's funny that when I was first learning to play, I remember it was always the top string that broke. Yes. And you, the, 
some cheap sets of strings will come with an extra top one. And I don't know what it is. When you're a beginner, it's the top string you break all the yes, time. Yes, indeed. And there. now it's, it's the second always, or third. It's the, thi it's the it's the thinnest one string. Exactly. Uh huh. The thing about this is that it's been ground flush. Oh right. So the it has the how can you put it? The grinding is on the inside. The outside surface is flush. So as it nips in the fret, it holds the wood down. I mean, it's not perfect. Oh, of course, you can yes, get chips. Yes, yes. But um, we did all right there. That one. Put a bit of, uh, there'll be a dab of super glue goes on that. I think most people make chips. Yes. Yeah. It's interesting to see the, the wear now on those frets with the strings off. Yeah, that's really... Uh, that's quite considerable. Ian Chisholm compromised yeah. in his workshop. It's all on video, no, folks. No, no. You heard uh, it here first. <laughs> Chris, Chris was very good. Chris, in fact, Chris has made one guitar himself. Oh, really? And has another that he'd half made and then his hands just got... Of course, I remember that, yes, yes. Um, I don't think I ever heard him play, but he... Um, he, he was... I think he was quite good. He... Um, he, there was a, a band, you know, a sort of steady gigging wedding band called Big Big Girls Blues. <laughs> Whether they ever um, crossed your uh, no, I never heard radar. them. But um, So what's the purpose of the super glue? Just to um, there, there was a, a sort of incipient chip there. Oh, I see. You know, it wasn't. Um, well, it wasn't serious. It wasn't serious, but it just would stop it getting. Um, And actually, because I've messed around and had to, um, got distracted and put a open a new bottle of glue and all the rest <laughs> of it, it did actually detach. So just Actually, you know, I mean, sorry, this is where it gets That has the effect of, of uh, giving a grip for the pliers and loosening yeah. the fret at the same time slightly. Yeah, it's um, what you often get is, is a sort of pile up of guck. Yes, uh, you know, in, I know. Sort of yes, yes, absolutely. In grease, and um, so it scrapes that away, and it makes just the start of where the um, the pincers will get in. Yes. Are they actually glued in when you first fret it? Um, traditionally, they're not glued. Ah. Then what most modern makers seem to do is um, just put a dab of super glue at each end. Oh, I see. And um, just because, you know, you, they're. It's one thing that can happen, the ends of the frets just lift. Yes. And um, 
it's um that's what I do and it's probably why I'm just having that little bit of trouble there. Slower yes, one. indeed. It certainly fixed in well when it was first threaded. Well, <laughs> you, you, you ah. clearly got one coming out. No, indeed. Does the fact that it's a, a flat fretboard make it easier or harder to, 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 to get them out? I think flat boards are slightly harder. Mm. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure why. It's funny, it's just they, they feel more difficult. You, you wonder if perhaps. Because it's flat, the slightest deviation you'd notice. Yes. Whereas when I don't know, uh, I, but uh. um, also I do far more curved boards. Yes. Just, uh, there we are. Slowly, slowly does it. That one's fine. Slight holes being filled with a mixture of, of, of ebony dust and and, oh, yeah. and, and super glue. If it, oh, if do, it really do is. That, do that all the time with inlay work. Really? Yeah. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I am wondering though, it's, uh, it's, uh, and one thing you can do is use the sorting iron to you heat the frets. Oh yes, that's right. I've, 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 heard, I've heard of that. Heat. I've heard oh. of that. Yes. So I think we'll just have a bit of that. One. So we can stop with them. Yes, yeah, indeed. Does that feel easier? Oh, it's coming. Oh yes, yes, that's definitely it is. It, it is. Yes, it's definitely smoother than than, than the last one. Oh, so that's the bit where it's been when it just yeah, it snaps out. out. Yeah. In a better equipped workshop, I'd have a ch chunk of metal or a heat, I think it was a <coughs> so I could heat up the frets. In the yeah, bowl. yes, yes. But, uh, in fact, this bit is so um, rickety amateurish, you probably better. Skip it. I don't. I just actually. I don't mind. But know. it works. I mean, I've seen other people do it. Yeah. 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 It's. Uh... It's just the ends where they've had that dab of super. Yes. Of course, you don't want it so hot that it, it damages the the fretboard itself. It's just got to be enough yeah. to enough to do it. Anyway, there you go. I did uh, tell you that refretting is fairly tedious. No, it's very interesting, actually. Every fret's a separate challenge. <laughs> no, I've done a lot more refrets now. But um, Rob Naylor's, Rob Naylor's Martin was one of the first I did. And he said, could he stop and watch? So I said, yes. And since then, I've had a policy of not letting him watch. <laughs> because... It definitely went wrong because he was watching. Oh, that's excellent. Um, Good, I like that. I mean, he has since bought um, two of my instruments. He knows, yes, it clearly did. didn't put him off. No, he but, did. Uh, it's odd. He has a, 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 a Martin X1 of similar vintage to mine, but his right. frets are awful. His, were his, awful. The frets were absolutely appalling. They were crap. I mean, I, I can't imagine he plays any more. Not as hard about, as me. You know, or and he's you. definitely not a hard player. No, no, he's not. And the frets have gone in a couple of years. Yes. Yeah. I, don't I mean, my my Marty was two thousand and seven, I think. 
of, of that cheap travel guitar type yeah. vintage. Yeah. But they've lasted a lot longer. I, mean, I think they, they want to dress probably, but they're a lot better than yeah. his were. Yeah. That's a nice guitar, that Martin. It's yours. okay, yeah. It keeps in beautiful tune. Yeah. And the neck's as, as straight as a board. It's, it's beach, beach bond, what do you call it? Stratobond. Yeah, that's the Beach that's, veneers no, glued that together. Makes, that makes a lot of sense, that. It's very rigid. Kind of laminated. Mm. Uh, I like this. It's the, it's the the video equivalent of watching paint dry. <laughs> it's quite soothing, actually, to see it happen. Yeah. So. You have a moment of sort of relax and, uh, and and gentleness, and then the pliers come out, and <laughs> it's all hell for about two minutes. <laughs> Oh, that certainly is coming out easier, isn't it? Oh, yeah, what a difference. Wow. Painless operation, that one. That was good. What I really want is just a something I could leave lying. Along the frets? On the frets. Yes, I'm with you. Yes, yes. Sort of a large steel rule or something with, with, with an, uh, an element down the middle of it. Um, a small smoothing iron. Oh, yes, of course. Perfect. Yes, indeed. And they have a thermostat as well. So yes. Uh, right. Next time. The L1 and the Gibson Mandolin, you know, they both have the original frets. Yes, it's um, amazing. At some point, that becomes an issue. Mm. I am. I, um, the, um, the mandolin especially, I was thinking I really perhaps shouldn't play it too much because... Yeah, but then um, it's a shame, isn't I it? I know it is, it's, re it's really hard, I don't know what the... Um, I mean, what, what, what did you put it in, um, in a plastic case and no. preserve it in aspic and say that's it, no. you know? Well, this um, Hill collection at the Ashmolean, where I went to see the Strand oh, violin, yes, yeah. so Hill was a violin maker and repairer, and I think in the 30s started this collection, but his specific aim was to gather up these valuable antique instruments and save them for yes. players. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, I, you know, excuse me, mate. Yeah, what, indeed. What, what, what are they there for? Absolutely, absolutely. It's, uh, and violins especially, I don't think they wear out. No, I mean, you hear of Strads and, and Amartes, which are, you know, oh, well, yeah. don donkey's years old, carrying on forever. The, um, and getting better and better. But the bar frets on the old Gibson, I'm not sure how I'd... It must be possible to get replacement stuff. When you say bar frets, what, what, what do you mean by that? They're just cut out of sheet metal. Oh, I see. There's no, there's no separate tang. Oh, right. right. And um, I've done one once with brass bar frets, which some early instruments had, um, for Doc, who wanted authentic... on a citern. Oh, I see. But presumably they're, 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 they're smoothed off to make, them, to, make, to make them playable. Oh, yeah. Yes, crowned and so on. Yes. And, um, and they must be very hard because, I mean, I was playing that instrument in Egbert Suze. Yes, indeed. You know, it's had... Um, Over had 40 it. years ago, yeah. But the I moment, warn you, you know, this can it's nice doing, the, doing the same thing 20 times. I love it, I love then, it. Uh, I mean, it's the, 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 the fretboard now is resembling a man who's been to the dentist and had all his top teeth extracted. <laughs> you can leave that in. I'm going to, don't worry. <laughs> it's great, I like it. Well, there's, there's this, this thing at the moment for sort of slow television and, and, uh, and, and slow food. It's slow refretting. Yeah. Slow luthery. Slow luthery. Well, it's luthery. all slow. Luthery is all slow. <laughs> of course, the new wire will look uh, quite nice with the machine hands as well, with the tuners. Gold, like gold and gold. So far, I like everything about the Evo. It seems to be easier to fit. It doesn't wear out. And I think it looks very nice. Mm. But, uh, it certainly looks nice on the hollow body. It's funny, it hasn't 
caught on in the mass market. Really? And it's not as if it costs, I don't think it costs significantly more. But um, it's what it's the, the um, you know, the, the um, boutique makers. Yes. Lot, is, it, is it one firm that makes it, or is it a, a general thing that, that is made by several? You know, I assume that Evo is a brand name. Oh, right. As I recall, my Epiphone Texan had uh, quite, quite. I would imagine so. In fact, it, it you had a J45, didn't you? A, a J50, actually. J50, that's right. But yes. it was very much a um, a Gibson thing. Yes. Of a certain era. In the 60s. Mm. Yeah. These little chips, as often as not, they end up underneath the tang of the fret. Anyway, oh, really? That one is actually just big enough to, and I seem to have lost the bit. I don't think that's it. It was there. Mm. I super put the super glue under it, and it's warm. It's managed. It's not that, is it? No. Anyway, right, we'll just move on that one. Now will your dark past come back to haunt you? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, there we have it. That's right. a bare, denuded fretboard. Poor little love. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> fancy a fretless target. Yes, actually, it's a possibility. Not just at the moment, but. Uh... <laughs> there she blows. Right. Excellent. So next. Clean up the slots next, clean up the surface of the board, and then it will be lunchtime. Yes, indeed. <laughs> 